thank the new year everyone would like to welcome you to our uh, first meeting of the year regular scheduled council meeting for january 2nd 2024 <laughs> 6 p.m at the smith park shelter house uh miss burns you would call roll please. yes mayor lowry here vice mayor grim uh point of order yes i i, yeah, I caught myself actually we're going to go into the uh, invocation first uh so invocation tonight will be by fire chief oh. trustee yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It threw me off. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, he did. Thank you for everything for the day and all that many blessings and many favors. Thank you for this meeting. Lord, please guide us that thy, thy will be done. Please bless our first responders, our troops, and their families. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <coughs> the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor I'd like to amend the, make a motion to amend the agenda to include the re-elected council members to be sworn in. That's line Second. number four. And to fix the numbering issues on the agenda. Okay, I see what you're saying. So it's she's just saying that you got it. Yeah, on the agenda. Added, yeah. Um, we Eggleston. need to add Mr. Grimm and Correct. Ms. Eggleston to yep. the agenda. You want to? you right. That's what she just said. Yep. What? <clears throat> and the um, second was Bond. Correct. On number four, it only says Kathy or Miss Wright, Miss Shan or Mr. Shammy, not the four. You know, it's got to include them two as well. Oh. It does. It does. So I'll second that motion. Bon. If you didn't get one. Bon already did. Did Bon already do it? Mm -hmm. okay. I heard well, it. Bon okay. Gotcha. Are we ready to go? Yes. Go. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? I, yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bon? Yes. That's accepted 6-0. Okay, thank you. Anything else, Ms. Eggleston? <clears throat> All right, so moving on, just a quick rundown of uh, how this will go. So uh, here in a moment, um, Ms. Uh, Burner will swear in the new uh, newly elected. Pledge. What? Pledge of Allegiance. There you did it. There you oh, did it. okay. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, swear in the new newly elected uh, Mrs. Uh, Wright and Mr. Shammy and then I will step down and Mr. Vice Mayor will take over the meeting and carry on with the election of the Vice Mayor and Mayor's position. So. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, according to the charter, the mayor serves until his successor is elected. Um, so that's not gonna happen until obviously a little bit later on in the meeting. If the mayor isn't serving, then the vice mayor then takes over and runs the meeting until his successor is selected. Okay. So, all right. Well, uh, Ms. Burner, I believe it's you. Okay. And, uh, um, I think if we stand kind of by behind you guys, yeah. we should be all on video pretty good. <laughs> just get out of the way here. And I'm just going to do all four at the same time. Okay, so when I say I, you will just go through and you'll each say your name individually, and then um, I'll go ahead and repeat it, and then you can agree to the lines after me, you can say those. Sounds good? Yep. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I. Dale Graham. Peggy Angles. Chris Shannon. Kathy Ryan. Do hereby solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I shall support the Constitution of the United States. That I shall support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Charter of City of the City of New Carlisle. The Charter of the City of New Carlisle. I shall faithfully. I shall faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially discharge. The duties of member of council. The duties of member of council. For the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. The city of New Carlisle, Ohio. For the term ending December 31st, 2027. For the term ending December 31st, 2027. For which I have been elected. For which I have been elected. 
notified us of the procedure that we need to take and I made sure uh, Mr. Shammy and Mr. Wright had a copy of it. What we do is we take nominations for mayor. The nominations can have a second but that's not required. Once all the nominations are in then we will vote on the same order in which they were nominated. Uh, each council member can only vote yes once on each round. So if you vote yes for one person, you cannot vote yes until for another person. If nobody reaches a majority or more votes, we start all over again. And then after the mayor is selected, then we will elect the vice mayor. Council, have any questions? Okay, we'll open the floor for nomination. I'd like to nominate Mr. Lindsay for mayor. Mr. Can we do roll call oh. with yeah. this council first? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Roll call. Sorry. The agenda's all. <clears throat> um, Acting Mayor Grimm. Yes. I'm here. Councilwoman Wright. Here. Councilman Bond. Here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. Councilman Lindsay. Here. Councilman Shammy. Here. Seven members present. Now we'll open the floor. Nominate I'd like to nominate Mr. Bill Lindsay for mayor. Nominate Mr. Cook for mayor. Any other nominations? I'll nominate myself. <laughs> Mr. Vice Mayor, I move that we close nominations. Second. Motion by Mr. Bond, second by Mr. Lindsay. <coughs> Discussion, council? Hearing none, Ms. Burnett. Okay. <clears throat> Councilman Shammy. Yes. Acting Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Wright. No. Councilman Bond. This is to close nomination. Close nomination, yes. correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. All right? Accepted. 6 1. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going back to our vote. And our first one nominated was Mr. Cook. Or Mr. Lindsay. Mm hmm. And I'm probably just going to start with you. and Nominated by Mr. Shan. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Acting Mayor Grimm. No. Councilwoman Wright. No. Councilman Bond. No. Councilwoman Eggleston. No. Councilman Cook? No. Councilman Lindsay? Well, of course, I'm going to vote for myself. Councilman Shammy? Yes. All right. So that did not get a majority <coughs> vote. It was two to five. So we'll move on to Councilman Cook. And it was nominated by Eggleston. Eggleston, correct? All right. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shammy? No. 
Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. All right. That is four to three. Congratulations, Mr. Mm -hmm. Now we'll, now let's have nominations for vice mayor. I'd like to nominate I'll nominate Dale Mrs. Eggleston. Mr. Bond nominated me. Okay. Mr. Cook nominated Mrs. Eggleston. Any other nominations? Motion to close nominations. So moved. Uh, motion by Ms. Eggleston, second by Mr. Cook. Okay. okay. Nomination to close. To close. Nominations for Vice Mayor, <coughs> Councilman Lindsay. No. Councilman Shammy. No. Acting Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Wright. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. All right, that is passes five to two. So let me get my people down here real fast. Council members have any discussion on this? <coughs> Can I say one thing? Yes. Mr. Vice Mayor. <coughs> I just wanted to say, and probably should have said it before we even did the mayor vote, but um, these things tend to be somewhat divisive, but I, I, I enjoy working with every one of you guys up here, and I think the, the people of New Carlisle enjoy the diversity that we bring to be able to handle different situations. And I know for me, when I look at these positions, um, it's more of a, uh, I'm looking at qualities and the position and the qualities that are required to execute that position well. I think. And I don't think any one of us up here is a complete person and doesn't bring strengths and weaknesses, but I think it's important that we, uh, when we look at mayor and vice mayor, we look at the person that's gonna bring the best group of qualities to uh, do that job well for the citizens of New Carlisle. The good thing is, is that, what's that? Uh, the good thing is that that's a, those are learned traits. It's not something you're born with. So, um, you know, many of you guys are going to be here for four years. and In two more years, we're going to do this again. So I know many of you had aspirations of being mayor or vice mayor. And if you're not elected tonight, I, I just want to encourage you to, to learn, um, grow in that, in, the, in the, your gifts and abilities, and, and maybe be the candidate in two years. So. That's just what I wanted to say. Yes, sir. Mr. Cook. I think that would require a charter change because I believe our charter recommends two years of service, then has to be reelected re again. Correct. There you go. Move for swearing in. We need to swear in the new mayor and vice mayor. We have we voted on the vice mayor. Oh, I thought you already oh, did. No. I thought it was paid. We got the oh. vice mayor. Oh, okay. <laughs> then move on with the elections. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have Grim, who was nominated by Bond, correct? Oops. Councilwoman Eggleston. <clears throat> no. Councilman Cook. No. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. That is a three to four. So we no, thank you. Do we even vote for Eggleston? Yes, we still mm -hmm. do. Okay, so we have Eggleston as our last one. 
and she was nominated by Councilman Cook. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Councilwoman Wright? Mm -hmm. Councilman Bond? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Okay. And that is a two to five, so we need to. Uh, question to Mr. Jeffries. Do we need to go through nominations again or just use the same ones? You can use the same ones, but you could open it for if someone else wants to be nominated, potentially. Okay. Or someone could also withdraw their nomination. <coughs> and we'll open the floor question. for nominations or withdrawal. Mr. Lindsay. Did no one get four votes? I thought the first one got four votes. No. Not the majority. I got three, Peggy got two. Three to two, okay. I thought you had four. <clears throat> no, no more nominations will withdrawal. Ms. Turner. Same nominee. Same people? Okay, so we're gonna re-vote. All right, so we're going with Grim. I'll start with Councilwoman Eggleston. No. Councilman Cook? No. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Let me confirm who you said you're voting for. You changed order? Just no. Have you? It's for Vice Mayor and it's for Grimm currently. Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Okay. That's three to four. So now we're moving to Eggleston. And I'm going to start with Councilman Lindsay. No. Councilman Shammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Councilwoman Wright? No. Councilman Bond? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. <coughs> and Councilman Cook? Yes. And we're back to? Same result. <laughs> Okay, are there any other nominations or withdrawals? Hearing none, Ms. Turner, you're getting good at this. Okay, I'm running out of paper room here. Let's see. Give me just a second. To... I've got, I've got enough. I just didn't have everyone's names down. <clears throat> so. Okay, we are voting on Grimm. And I will start with Councilwoman Eggleston. No. Councilman Cook? This is for Mr. Grimm. Correct. No. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Chammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. All right, that is three to four. I'm going to vote for Eggleston. <clears throat> and I will start with Councilman Lindsay. No. Councilman Chammy? No. Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Councilwoman Wright? No. Councilman Bond? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. It's gonna be a long night, guys. <laughs> yes. 
I would solicit advice from Mr. Jeffries. Nothing he can do. It's up to us to vote that it's election. To use a mayor. Majority vote. So elect on one. Um, <clears throat> again, you can open nominations at other people. People can withdraw. I've done that each time. Do we have any other nominations or any withdrawals? Let's flip a coin. Can I ask a question why the gentlemen aren't picking one of the two choices? If you don't want to nominate someone else. My vote is mine. I don't have to answer to nobody on my vote but the citizens. Mr. Vice Mayor, can I ask a question? <clears throat> um, so how do we move off center here? We keep going to somebody who gets four votes or somebody who withdraws from the nomination. That's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I understand the procedure. Um, and it's, it's self-explanatory. <clears throat> Does anybody up here have any suggestions how we can do that? Somebody can withdraw from the nomination. Or somebody can change their vote. Or somebody can change their vote. Do I hear no other, no other nominations or withdrawals? <laughs> Hearing none, Mr. Burner. Okie dokie. Voting for Grimm. Councilwoman Eggleston. No. Councilman Cook. No. Councilman Lynch. No. Councilman Chammy. No. Acting Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Wright. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Three to four. Eggleston. Councilman Lindsay. No. Councilman Chammy. No. Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Councilwoman Wright? No. Councilman Bond? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Point of order? Two, five. Yes, sir. <clears throat> On the first round, if you have four and you've only got one, I guess the word is nominee left, and there is four no votes hanging out there. I don't understand how we can vote no by not electing this. This could go on all night. Yes, we could. <laughs> Mr. Lindsay said he uh, would uh, listen to the citizens. Ms. Sexton would like to speak. If council has no objections, I'll recognize the, her. Uh, when I said I answered to the citizens, that's at the ballot box. I'm not up for two years. And I'm not running for re-election in two years for council. With eight no years, objection eight years from council, enough. I'll recognize the section. They need to break the rules. Please. Um, can you break rules of council to the public, public. have the public, the public comments now? Yeah. Because in the agenda, it's not time yet. Yeah. <clears throat> This is not setting a very good example of how this is going to go to the upcoming council. I'd say. Need to but if this is what we have to look forward to, this is not what these people are paying their salary for. No more uh, nominations or withdrawals? <coughs> Here we go. This is Burner. Okay. If you need paper, I have more. I'm. Okie dokie. Voting for Grimm. Vaughn nominated him. Councilwoman Eggleston. No. Councilman Cook. No. Councilman <coughs> Lindsay. No. Councilman Shammy. <coughs> Was that a no? Acting Mayor Grimm? No. Or oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Scott, yeah. Somebody changed your vote. Councilwoman. <laughs> so close. Right. Yes. 
Councilman Vaughn. Yes. We hear something so many times it just gets in your brain. Three to four. Moving on to Eggleston. <clears throat> Councilman Lindsay. No. Councilman Shammy. No. Acting Mayor Grimm. No. Councilwoman Wright. No. Councilman Bond. No. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Two to five. Any other nominations or withdrawals? I do not believe this is best for the city. I do not believe in the other candidate, but to uh, end the stalemate, I will withdraw. So we have Eggleston, hold on just a second, let me. Okay, Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. <clears throat> Acting Mayor Grimm. No. Councilwoman Wright. You're going to have to clarify for me, I'm sorry. We're voting for Peggy Eggleston for vice mayor. All right, we didn't Council have to confirm that he withdrew. Okay. He withdrew his All right. nomination. Then yes. Okay. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Six to one. <clears throat> Congratulations to both of you. You want to trade me seats? No, they need to be sworn in first. <coughs> mm -hmm. They need to be sworn in. Then swear them in. I don't think they're swearing. I don't think they're sworn in. They're already sworn in. They're they have to be sworn, sworn in, in as, as mayor, mayor and vice mayor. Vice mayor. I believe. Yeah, I'll just read off of this and then I'll have to bring your papers to sign another time. Do you want to? We can go over there. Okay. That I shall support the Constitution of the United States. I shall support the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the State of Ohio. Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Charter of the City of Neutralize. The Charter of the City of Neutralize. I shall faithfully. Honestly, honestly, and impartially discharge, impartially discharge the duties of member of mayor and vice mayor. Duties of mayor, vice mayor of council, council for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. City of New Carlisle, Ohio. For the term ending. For the term ending December thirty first. December thirty first. Two year term of mayor. Twenty twenty five. For which I have been elected. For which I have been elected. For which I have been Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Keep 
working on here. Well, thank you, sir. And I guess we shall continue on. Okay, we are at the point of the appointment of clerk of council and an acting clerk. Mr. Mayor. Do we open uh, nominations? So moved. Mr. Lindsay. Second. Mr. Bond. I hear a, a motion for. You want to vote on the no opening nominations? <clears throat> no, right. we just, oh, you just we open just nominations. Open nominations. Okay. I move to appoint Mrs. Berner as our clerk of council. Second. And whoever you want to First vote. First and second. second. Is there any other nominations? <clears throat> then I need a motion to close. Uh, so moved. Second. You guys got me all confused here. All right, <clears throat> hold on. We nominated you. We closed nominations. You can call the roll. Who was the first to? I motion to, clo to close. Motion to close. Who was the second? Chris Shammy, motion to second. Or okay. Second to motion. All right. Mayor Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Absolutely. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Did I call everybody? Who has been our acting? Has it been Mr. Bridge? Okay, do so I moved to, to retain Mr. Bridge as acting. Has anyone talked to me if asked me if I wanted to do it? Well, then tell us you don't want to do it now. I mean, you weren't it last year. Yeah, well, yeah, I was. I'm going to fix it for this year. Do I have a motion to so open moved. the nominations for the assistant clerk? So moved. Second. Mr. Lindsay and Mr. Shammy. <clears throat> okay. Do I hear any nominations? Nominate Mr. Bridges. Second. Again, Mr. Lindsay and Mr. Shanley nominate Mr. Bridge. Is there another nomination? Move to close nominations. Okay, got a motion to close by Mr. Lindsay. Second. Second by Mr. Shanley. Go ahead. Mr. Bridge, do you want to be back up? I do not. We have had that discussion multiple times last year. It is a, a, is, is, a, is a lot for me to run a meeting and do clerk. I think on occasion it is okay for me to step in. Uh, but since I'm a contract employee now, I think that should have been discussed prior to just throwing my name out there. So if the city's in a bind, I'll always help the city out. But I think it should have been approached by me before my nomination was thrown out there. We have a nomination. Does anybody want to close the nominations, or so do you moved. want to? We already had the vote to close the nomination. I I don't recall ever doing this in meeting like this. Just sign me up. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. We have an acceptance. If you will call a roll, Mrs. Byrne. <laughs> Question. Go ahead. <clears throat> Does council know of anybody else that want to be the uh, assistant clerk of courts? Council. We have we council. have we have always ran into this problem before, to where we can't get anybody to be the deputy clerk or whatever you want to call her, call him, and. Mr. Mayor, may I make a comment? 
I said I would do it. I would just appreciate it if next time I was asked beforehand before I'm just nominated without even knowing I was being nominated. So I will always help the city out in a bind. I just ask next time someone council approaches me before my name is just thrown out. And I think that's a respectable request. Chris, you had something? No, I'll scratch it. Thank you. Hmm. What is council's thought on Mr. Bridge taking yeah, the action? Yeah, you'd like to say, Councilman Lindsay? We can come up with another nominee and at a later date make the switch. Do we have to vote on it right now? You do. We do. Like I said, I would be more happy to help out. I just respectfully right. ask next time I approach before my name is nominated. I think that's a very respectable request. Council's pleasure. Call for the vote. Call for the vote. All right. Mayor Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston. No. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman Wright. Yes. Councilman Grimm. No. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shannon? No. All right, that is three to four. Awesome. <clears throat> so would anyone like to nominate themselves for clerk, assistant clerk of council? Because that would also need to be done tonight. I'll do it. Thank you for stepping. Bill on our name in section is acting clerk of council. <coughs> Do I hear a second on that? Eggleston or Wright? Eggleston? Councilman Bond? Yes. Count Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? No. Councilman Shammy? Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. <clears throat> Vice Mayor Eggleston. Yes. All right. That's accepted six to one. All right. You'll get to get And we two. need action on the minutes of the 12 18 so regular so meeting. Second. <clears throat> Lindsay was the second. And you'll abstain and you'll abstain. Yeah. Okay. Councilman Shammy. Abstain. And then state your reason why you weren't on council. council. Wasn't on council, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mayor Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Abstain. I wasn't on council yet. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Those minutes are accepted 502. All right, are there any communications from any of the committees? Hearing none, I guess we'll go to the city manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, members of council, members of public. Uh, this first meeting in January is kind of light. We kind of keep it open for the nominations uh, that we just went through. Uh, but this is for the uh, uh, month of December. So updates on Rumkey. Uh, Rumkey is about done with their transition. I do have some addresses that are denying cans. Uh, so unfortunately, if you live in a single family or a duplex home, you are required to have a trash <laughs> service here. That's what council passed. Um, so if you get in a bill in the mail, 
uh, you might want to take a look at it. Uh, you are able to switch your container level, so they'll automatically bill you for the 96. If you want to switch down, you can do that to like the mid-size, just like the 65 gallon. If you're 55 and up, you can get the 35 gallon uh, trash recycling as well. Uh, but I got another round of addresses I'll be sending the certified letters out to, uh, copies of which I've uh, sent to uh, council already. So I'll be sending out another round of those. Um, but other than that, it's been a pretty easy, smooth transition. Uh, Rumpke has knocked it out of the park, not only from a pricing standpoint, but also from a transition and customer service standpoint. So hats off to Rumpke and thanks for council for voting that uh, contract in. Uh, winter newsletter is going to be delayed a month. I usually like to have that out in December. Uh, but unfortunately, I was out a little bit with a health issue, so I kind of pushed my uh, 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 date back for that. So I'll be having it out in the uh, January bill. So please keep a look out for that. Upcoming legislation, ordinance to accept codification update, uh, gov deals for unneeded city property. That's going to be introduced at the next meeting. And then employee pay greases, which is a yearly thing, union for, for our union allies, employees, and then your upper management. And I, additional discussion topics, I don't have any, so I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Mr. Mayor, <clears throat> I have a question. I had a business owner approach me, downtown business owner. He got a bill for Mumpke. Mm -hmm. He does not use Rumpke. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, businesses are not required to use the city mandated refuse collector, correct? Sure. It was a probably a mistake on Rumpke's hat. Yeah, he it, called Rumpke and he said, you have to pay it anyway. Hmm. Well, that's not what I've been communicating with. So um, I've heard otherwise from other people. So if you want to have that business owner, give me a call. And I can get a hold of the people at Rumpke. But we had two other business owners who had the same thing happen to them. Okay. And they called, and what they need is they need verification from the city that it is not part of that. So I think once they hear it from us, then they should take that bill away. Okay, I'll tell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Mr. Mayor, a question. <clears throat> Go ahead. Did waste management not transfer all that information to Rumpke? Well, this they did, but waste management also did not audit their addresses. So through the years that we had waste management, people just kind of stopped paying or stop the service and waste management never let the city know. So their list that they transferred over the waste to Rumpke was not <coughs> accurate because it didn't have all the, all, all the people paying. So, so what we're finding now is people that didn't have it before that are now getting caught because of the audit. Now, as far as the business goes, <coughs> I can't explain that. It's probably just an error off the address list. But the business could have had waste management and then at some point <laughs> switch to something else. Yeah, if you're a business owner, you can use whoever you right. like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we've had that. Some people got confused that waste management ended their service. Um, and I would invite the business owners to actually call Rumpke and see if they can get a better deal um, than what they're getting now because Rumpke's now heavily in the area. So they might undercut the business side of things as well as they did the residential. So if you're a business owner, I highly encourage you to check the Rumpke pricing as well. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, I'm completed. Thank you're you. You're done? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we got committee reports, which uh, I included that with communication, so I don't believe we got any. I guess we open it up to comments from members of the public. Anybody who likes to go to the podium, and please state your name and address. Go ahead. Janelle Zimmerman, 219 Prentice Drive. Um, I would just like to thank everyone on the committee that um, did the ball drop and everything. I didn't make it down there this time, but I did see the pictures. And I just think the dedication they put into that is just marvelous. It, it's just wonderful that, that a city this size can, can do something so wonderful, and all put on by citizens, and I think that's wonderful. And. Um, I had one question. Do they have any idea when the new shelter house will be opening? Uh, here soon. I'm uh, actually reviewing the rental agreement, and then I'll be sending it out to council, and then we'll be opening it up. And that will take, like, how long? Till be summer, or? No, it'll be probably within the next month. In the next month? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So we just and the, 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 are they going to blacktop that uh, parking lot? Mm -hmm. or In the spring. Gravel? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, and does the planning board have a regular meeting every month like council does? No, they meet as needed. Okay, because it seems like I never can find when they're having a meeting. Okay. So I guess if they're having one, it'll, it'll be on there. It's on the, usually on the city. Board. Usually on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe they met every month. And mm -hmm. so I, I was confused that I could. Sure. Okay. I think that's everything. Thank you. Anyone else? Move to adjourn. Yeah. She's going up oh, there. Okay. Lynn Sexton, 522 Hamilton Avenue. Um, I was just uh, curious. Driving through town, and I know that Rumpsy, Rumpke is in a transitioning period, um, but this past week I drove through and here at Trash Day, and a lot of people were not putting the <coughs> recycling and some of the regular trash in the containers. They were sitting it on the side. Is that something, if anyone can help me here, is that something that we agreed with Rumpke for them to be able to do? I guess being an old garbage man, I'll answer that. Those containers are put out in the street primarily when they cannot get in access to the, the container by virtue of a car parking there. The problem I have is what basically what you have if you've got those containers sitting on both sides of the street. Mr. Cook, I'm talking about the trash outside of the actual containers no. and I've seen a lot of that this week I drove through the city it was Christmas that's why well yeah but I mean it was Christmas that's I just I, I did it at my house I got I had boxes and trash everywhere so I think if it continues on next week week after well not next week people still got boxes yeah they don't pick in the next month or two well, no, then that's it's okay yeah I'm talking real out. real garbage yeah, yeah because um, and a lot things. with a lot of recent and I can understand you know people getting mm -hmm. large boxes that type of thing and then not fitting in there or maybe the uh, recycling cart is too full mm -hmm. but it looked like people weren't even trying to cut up the boxes. Yeah, it's it's tough this time of year. People have I'm parties, just curious. Yeah, for sure. But I've been driving around. I didn't I didn't notice it because I wasn't home. I wasn't here for this collection. Um, but I looked last time and it wasn't as bad. So we anticipate this week and probably next week because there'll be Christ, uh, Christmas tree collections too. Yeah. It is probably just going to be Matt House. And that's one thing we like about Rumpke is even though okay. normally we don't allow that, it has to be inside the container right. with the lid closed. Rumpke's going to understand that this is a unique time. <laughs> And they'll go ahead, hopefully, just go ahead and pick it up. And I drove around this afternoon, and I didn't see any re remaining bags outside the container. And I just wanted to say um, congratulations on all the elected seats. And I hope you all do the best for our citizens. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Yes, go ahead. I would like to thank Ms. Sexton for mm -hmm. stepping up and vol volunteering to be our acting city clerk of course that means she's going to have to cut off evening hours with the tv <laughs> she's here every time anyway mr fields thank you steve fields 1000 edgebrook drive new carlisle first of all congratulations to the newly elected people here on the council second of all I, I really appreciate the cooperation that you all just put forth. I hope that can continue, especially Mr. Grimm stepping up and, and withdrawing to get this thing done. Very proud of you for that. Thank you. Very good job. I hope this continues. We get something done now without a bunch of, I don't know, in, in, in fighting or whatever you want to call that. And Janelle, the next meeting for the planning board is the 12th. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's not January 12th, it's February 12th. February 12th. Yeah. 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 So Anyone else? Uh, Mr. Mayor. We had a conversation about the sign-up sheet. 
what's our thoughts? Are we going to proceed with that sign-up sheet for people to speak at the audience? Yeah, I did a mem Well, I think I just did an email. Instead of uh, announcing their address, um, they just sign in, and state their names, and then they would have the address on the sign-in sheet. That way, they're not publicly announcing it. So it's up to council if you want to do that. So everybody coming in would sign. <clears throat> just people that want to speak. speak. That yeah, was, like so my impression was just the people that wanted to speak. Correct. Uh -oh. What's council thought? I think you should. Mr. Mayor, I agree. The uh, sign-up sheet would be a part of the public record, am I correct? It would be, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So their address will still be. Um, I think it was left. I think Jake had said we could leave the addresses out of the minutes. I don't remember our conversation exactly, but I know that stating it publicly um, they wouldn't they would, be part of the official minutes, but they would be like, like they would still technically be a public record, but they wouldn't. They would still be the city's retainership. Yeah, it'd be a lot different than having their addresses being on YouTube, though. They would have to make an actual public records request, so I think there's a big difference. There. Thank you. And I can bring that sign in sheet. I can just have something that keeps it running. I guess my concern is if we have the sign up sheet over there, somebody comes in late, misses it, do they then forfeit their opportunity to speak? I think you could just have the. Yeah, I, I was thinking I would just lay it on the podium. Good idea. No answer, huh? <clears throat> no, we're just making sure we're the rules of council under <clears throat> speaking regulations, so you're fair to change as, you, as, as needed without amending the rules. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, I'll probably just keep a... Do you want to vote on that? Um, next, uh, I will be handing out rules of council to each of you tonight uh, for you to study them and review them, and then next meeting we'll have a resolution to amend um, actually, we got to intro first, and then we'll uh, amend them at the first meeting in February. So, okay. if council would like, if this if this change is going to happen, we can actually amend it, put it in the codes in February when you guys change it. Just want to give you that time frame. All right. All right, moving right along. We have no resolutions and no ordinances. Do we have any other business that needs to be addressed, gentlemen, ladies? <coughs> Go ahead, Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah, please or no, no, Mr. Bridge. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we, just right at you. <laughs> we just met. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the lady that was here last time with the the question about the water bill and, and Miss Minky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we ever figure out what like on our side the problem was and, and did we fix that? We are looking so, at okay. actually that we're starting to look at that. So I got another email from a concerned citizen actually the night of that meeting. Um, and then we uh, unfortunately went on break. So, and then that's one of my top priority projects because it is confusing on the email I got from this uh, particular citizen with the attachments. I'm kind of confused as, as well. So we're gonna be tackling that ASAP. Is there a way that we can, I don't know if we put any fees on her that were a result of our negligence and our system not working. Is there a way we can refund those to her if, if we were negligent? If we were negligent, way? I'll do the right thing, absolutely. Okay. Um, 
you know, so let us look into some things and really pry that, sure. pry the lid back yeah. a little bit, see what's going on. Um, because at the end of the day, it's an issue because I saw it, but I don't know what's triggering it. Um, because we've never had this much of an issue before, and it's still a low number compared to the overall we give out. But when I see the stuff coming to me and it doesn't make sense to me, that's when we got to look at it. Sure. So on top of that, too, I'm actually going to be looking at our water procedures because I think that we can do better. I think that we can look at that and see what we can do to do better with online payments and stuff like that. So all that, even though we just did that this year, um, I think it's a good chance for us to revisit that and kind of look at some of these policies and procedures that we have in place to make it easier not only for our own staff, but also easier for our citizens. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Sure. Anyone else? Is that something citizen input could be able to come in and talk to them? You'd have to go to the podium, sir, and state your name for the record. Bill Zimmerman, 219 Prentice Drive. Uh, to, speaking about the issue of water bills and things like that, I would like to know if it's possible if I happen to deal as a payee for people that live in Neutral Isle, but their landlord lives in Dayton and the bill always goes to Dayton. And I'd like to be able to speak to somebody and that might be one of the things we can address. Uh, sure. sure, yeah, we looked at that last time around. So the problem was when we let the uh, tenants have it in their name, we have such a high renter population that they come and go. Okay. Um, so that's why we changed to put it back into the landlord name. Okay. So that tenant is actually allowed to go on and create account and see the bill. It's just, you know, so they can see that information. Okay. Um, but that's why we do the way we do, because we, got, so we had a lot of people just run out on bills. And, and a completely different question, the uh, paper recycle place at the Catholic Church, that bin has been full for two weeks. When does that get removed? It's on private property, so it's not a city thing if it's at the Catholic Church, sir. Okay. So I'll to, we'll look into it. We'll have our code of Okay, right? it's Take been full for two weeks and people putting everything I'm sure, in. Yeah, what Catholic, which, which church? Uh, over at the Catholic Church. Oh. <laughs> Heart. The, no, the green recycling paper. I'm asking what church? Name of the church. The Catholic Church. Which one's the Catholic Church? Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Sun Lake. I mean, gotcha. uh, I believe yeah, it's a company Lake. out of Columbus. Hmm? I believe it's a company, company out of Columbus. Columbus. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Mayor. Go ahead. I move to go into executive session to discuss the employment compensation of a public employee. Second. Got a motion and a second. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Ray? Yes. Councilman Cook? Nope, sorry, I'm going back to the old way. <laughs> Councilman Grimm? Yes. I know they look alike, but I it's didn't different. Even, I, yeah. He's got more hair than I got. Sorry. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Mayor Cook. Yes. And Vice Mayor Eggleston. Yes. 7-0. All right, folks. We're temporarily adjourned for an executive session. Okay. Got a motion. Second. Motion and seconded to go into regular session. All right. Shammy. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Wright? Yes. Yes. Councilman Kim? Yes. <laughs> Councilman oh. Lindsay? Yes. Well, she looked at me. I figured that was good enough. And because she's trying to figure out what the name was. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Yes. So we do that first. Second. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> motion second to adjourn. Lindsay, Shammy, Mayor Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman Wright. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Graham. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Move to adjourn. Turn your round.